Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up? I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to cover up post acne or even active acne marks. This even works for pimple marks or any like red blemish that you might have on your face. I wanted to start this video barefaced to show you that I have quite a bit of um, acne marks left behind like especially over here you know there's acne marks which is discoloration in the skin like spots like this but then there's acne scars which means an actual change in skin texture so you can have like little divots in your skin or you could even have bumps um, I do have acne scars like I have little like divots in my skin like a few on this side and a few on this side so in the video I will also show you how to make acne acne scars less visible and less noticeable. I'm going to start by color correcting the redness in them and the way you can do that is by color correcting and I'm going to use a really crazy green color corrector. So basically on the color wheel green is opposite this kind of browny red color and therefore it's supposed to neutralize this color that might peek through even our foundation and i'm using the la gold pro conceal hd concealer this time it's not in pure beige i've taken it at the back of my hand here because um, i don't want to directly apply it on active zits or even old zits and spread infection this is just a much more hygienic way of doing it and just making sure that you don't get any more breakouts i'm taking this really tiny brush and I'm going to pick up a very little amount with this and put it on my zit like that. Wherever I have zits, you do not have to go overboard with this concealer. You really need the tiniest bit and I cannot stress that enough because there's no point in caking up your face with extra makeup when you don't really need it and then it ends up breaking up and just looking bad. Also, if you use too much of it, it can give your foundation a greeny tint, which of course we don't want that. So just apply a little less and you'll be good. Now you can either use a damp sponge to blend these but this will definitely take away a lot of the coverage so just keep that in mind or you can continue using a brush like this to keep patting this in if you want more coverage today i kind of don't want a lot of coverage so i will use the beauty sponge you want to keep pressing and blending in the same spot you don't want to like spread it out everywhere like you would with your usual concealer See, our only aim here is to neutralize the redness or the darkness. We're not really looking for much coverage, so don't even worry about that. So you guys know I use the LA Gold Pro Conceal HD in every single one of my tutorials to color correct my darkness underneath my eyes. But that concealer is much more creamy and this is a little bit dry as compared to that one even though it is from the same range just a different color i do think that they might have done that on purpose so that the color corrector actually sticks only to the place that it's meant to stick to So now we're done with color correcting and I've also color corrected underneath my eyes and let's move on to foundation. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. This is in medium olive. This is a very lightweight but very full coverage foundation but I'm only going to do a very thin layer of this. You want to be really careful when you blend these areas where you've put the green color corrector do not move or drag your blush or beauty blender whatever you're using because that will disrupt the product underneath all you want to do is dab like this whether it's your brush or your beauty sponge just dab especially in those areas Okay guys, so I did a mistake. I totally, totally forgot to show you guys the primer that I like to use underneath this makeup. Anyway, I love using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer because it moisturizes your skin but at the same time fills in your pores or any sort of acne scars or indentation marks that you might have. 
it obviously doesn't completely blurs them out but definitely the scars are diminished and i know that this primer is not available in india so i do have a drugstore indian option for you and that is the nyx angel whale skin perfecting primer when I say Indian, of course, I don't mean an Indian company. I just mean easily available in India. I'm so sorry I did such a huge mistake. But yeah, those are my two recommendations. Use those primers, any one of them, uh, before doing this. And you will see an even better result because it's going to fill in your pores and just smooth out your canvas as much as a makeup product can possibly do. Anyhow, I'm done with blending the foundation. And this is the final result, as you can see the redness is pretty much like 99% gone I just have this one little spot that's still visible but sometimes you just can't avoid these little inconveniences <laughs> another full coverage drugstore foundation that I do like better than the next one is the Milani conceal plus perfect foundation this is amazing because it also smooths out your skin I'm now going to set my entire face using the Rimmel stay matte pressed powder this is in transparent I'm going to use a very light dusting of this and I'm going to focus more on the areas that we have the green concealer because we do not want that area to budge under any circumstance. So that is how I cover my acne marks. I really hope that this helps someone who needs to cover their active acts or pimples or you know redness on the face whatever it may be i do want to say one thing and it is a little bit cheesy and i don't really like to say that like cheesy stuff out loud but it is important so i'm going to say it okay even with all your acne marks you are beautiful and it doesn't make us any less of a human being it's just a skin condition don't let it define you and don't let it affect your confidence because I know it can do that. So I just hope that this video helps you in some way. And yes, this is the end for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video and comment and let me know what other videos would you like to see on my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to. I think that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.